What's up, peoples? This is These Nuts again. Coming with you with a short tutorial on um, you know you have those those um those headlights that look brown and at nighttime it look, looks dull, very dull. I got a solution for you. Quick solution. It just take a few little dolls here and there rather than you know use those those simple wipe on wipe off. Bullshit. You want it to last that shit long, alright? But anyway. I got my friend car right here, and she had an issue. All her, mirror, all her front glasses are plastic, they're not glass. Only glass, they're clear, but the plastic over the period of time, and the rain and stuff like that, it gets brown. Like, like, a, you know, like, a, like a dirt brown because of the elements of, of everyday, you know, everyday driving. You know, smog and everything like that. But I got a quick solution for you. I already red sanded it. Right, anyway, let, let me show you right now, let me show you right now. This is it right here. I take, I take a little 1500, all right, you need, you're gonna need 1500, I clear, I can clear, it could be, it has to be one that's, that's 2K, it has to be 2K, if it's not 2K primer, I mean 2, 2K clear, my, my bad, if it's not 2K clear, it would not do, it would not last forever, but this is almost like automotive clear, in a can, all right, it could be anyone that said 2K clear on it all right it has to be cool 2k clear all right and you're gonna need you know you're gonna need some you know home depot paper and tape okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna tape it up you can do this right there I'm doing this right here you know tape it up make sure it's clean what's saying it I already did this side already you know and I did this side already so I'm gonna show you the end results when it's done all right, hold on a second. Okay, right back again. Anyway, I forgot to tell you one more thing you're gonna need. You're gonna need like some type of cleaning agent, like something when you wet sand it and you wipe it down. This this is really Miss Butters, it's prep so. This is what you use to clean the body and stuff like that before paint. You have to use this, because if you don't use this, what's gonna happen? You don't know if there's like residue, oil residue, you know, silicone or whatever that would, you know, we, we put the clear on, you, you're gonna get fish eyes. You don't wanna get no fish eyes. I'm telling you, this thing is so simple, you could do it right in your home, anywhere, anywhere, you know, in your garage, simple, simple fix, all right? So, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take a piece of pivot towel, all right? And home stuff, home stuff, no, no, no big deal thing. Then, I'm gonna I'm a put it on there, you know, I'll pop this thing up, all right? Put a little, little, little bit on it, boom. And then I wipe it off so it gets clear again. This it will look when it's clean, when it's gonna get back to normal. But you want you wanna make sure that you take off all the um the prep salt or you could use acetone, you could use anything that's cleaning agent. You know, if you don't have a little stuff in there, you, you could use alcohol. You could use alcohol also, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you can do that if you have everything. All you have to do is go to the store and get these products. All um, cheap stuff. You don't have to be you don't have to be expensive in anything. All right. So where did I put my clear can? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? That's odd. Hold on. Yeah, for a second there I thought I lost my can. I've cleared, but anyway I found it. Like I said. Make sure you go to any paint store that sells in like automotive paint and you get a 2K clear in the can, which is so simple. Shake it up real good and stir and light coats. Not heavy coats at first, light, very coats. Look, like light coats, watch. Just, just put a little mist over it and you wait for that to dry. You don't want it to put too much on it at first because if you put too much, it's gonna run, especially in like cold weather. But if it's like, you know, good weather, like under, like below, I mean, high as like 65 and above, but under like like 32 and, and lower, you have to put it on gently. You don't wanna put it on too much. I mean, right now, you know, what you're seeing is, is like orange peel. You gotta wait like flash time, like about 10 minutes, 20 minutes, but. I know how to put this clear on, so I know what to do. So, give yourself time to put this clear on. So you keep on doing it. 
Remember, 50-50 or 75% overlap. All right? So you put it on, boom. There you go. There you go. Wait till that to dry. And that's it. That's all it needs. One coat, you can put one coat. I, I put like several coats. But, like I said, you're not professional, you wait. You do you make sure you put it on, you know, lightly at first. You know, it, it's gonna look like it's not done properly, but and eventually, the more you put on, you're gonna start seeing it start to flow even better and look like and less orange peely. And then, but this, this, this can, it, they say, it dries in 20 minutes, 10 minutes tops, depending on the weather. But right now, it's probably drying in 20 minutes because of the, of the weather we have in New York. All right, it's cold. You don't want it to run. You, you, you don't want to run marks in it. It's just the headlights. You know, you know, you want to make sure it looks, you know, decent and all. So you let that dry. So now I'm gonna do the next side, which is very simple to do. Like I said, you get the tape from Home Depot. You get a paper from Home Depot. This is two something. This is like what? Three something. You know, it don't take that much. The the can clear itself is like twenty dollars or twenty two something dollars. You know, less than that. You, you don't have to go to a body shop to get this done. You can do it right in your house. Rather than getting those products, wipe it on in a few months, I don't know, a few more times. In a few months, that should fade as well. You go right back to where it was. Because at one point, I buffed these things and it, was, it looked like that. And look, it came back. You know, it, it looks like brown. So now it looks like brand spanking new. Like, nothing happened to it, you know, which is good. This will last you a year or two. You, take, you, you wash your car regularly, boom, you know. It, it protects it and that's it that's all you need to do all right so this is these nuts from stk garage this is just a quick tutorial and um, you know make sure your headlights look brand spanking new like it just came up from the from the you no know, the dealer or you know you got arch or whatever you know simple thing boom down you got scratches in it you don't see it because i'm gonna show you something i got a hemi right Hemi dodge magnum and i did i painted it with the automotive clear and this is how it looks. Boom, like brand spanking new, like I just bought it, right? Look, see, brand spanking, and this is automotive clear. But if you wanna go that route, you know, this is more expensive to do, you get to do the can, which is simple. It's the same, same, the same result, because it's automotive clear in the can, like I said. It's a, it's a 2K primer, I mean 2K clear, I'm sorry. I wanna know why I keep myself 2K primer. But anyway, so that's it. Yeah. I just paint this other day, and that's it. All right, so you can go out there and try it and tell me about it, all right? All right, this is some other cars in here working on, but that right there, that's the one we're talking about. See, see the difference? Look, look at the difference, look at the difference. Boom, look at that, how color that is, because I just wet sand it. But if I didn't wet sand that, it would look just like that. And look, look at the difference. Brand spanking you, right? Trust me, you could go out there and do the same thing. All right, so anyway, this is these nuts from SDK Garage. Go out there and do that, simple, peace.